Welcome, my name is Daniel Ordóñez and I am here to present our work, An Adaptable Approach to Learn Realistic Legged Locomotion Without Examples. Our work aims at exploiting the potential of learning techniques and computer simulation to study the dynamics of locomotion for a large variety of legged robotic systems. Learning techniques provide us with the freedom to experiment with non-traditional robot morphologies for which robust control methods do not exist yet. Robots with tails, spines, or non-trivial feet morphologies are some examples. Physics-based simulation, on the other hand, enable us to obtain a large amount of information that is hard or impossible to sense in the real world, thus becoming a tool to properly study these dynamical systems. The main limitation for the application of these learning techniques to robotics is that in order to converge to realistic behavior, there is a need to have either accurate musculoskeletal models that impose constraints in the simulation dynamics, or the use of motion capture data, which is unavailable in robotics, to guide the learning process and exploration process. So in this work, we want to tackle the problem of learning realistic high-speed locomotion control for any given robotic system. Our proposed methodology is fundamented in guiding the learning and exploration process with first, automatically generated reference motions, and second, by encouraging the learn controller to be symmetric. To automatically obtain reference motions, we generate control and periodic gait trajectories of the spring-loaded inverted pendulum model. This provides the reference dynamics for the center of mass of our robot, showcasing the sagittal spring mass dynamics observed in animals in nature during high-speed locomotion. During learning, we use this approximate reference dynamics to constrain the exploration space of the policy with a space-time bound, terminating an episode once the robot center of mass and the reference center of mass deviate considerably. This effectively constrains the set of feasible locomotion gates to feature natural spring mass dynamics. When combining a space-time bound with a non-negative reward function, the agent is encouraged to survive for as long as possible within the bound. Now, because the reference motions are periodic stable trajectories, maximizing survival time translates to maximizing the control policy robustness. At the same time, we define a simple reward function with a single term that penalizes energy consumption encouraging the agent to find energy-efficient, stable, periodic gaze featuring natural spring mass dynamics. We also found that in order to ensure the convergence to realistic behaviors, we needed to encourage the control policy to be symmetric, exploiting the symmetries of the morphology of the robot and the learning task. We tested our approach on a quadrupedal and bipedal robot, learning a reactive control policy that used proprioceptive information of a single time step to produce joint torque commands. The results showed that only when using both the reference dynamics and the symmetry of the environment, the controller converged to periodic energy-efficient gates. We also observed a considerable increase in performance and reduction of variance across different training seats. Experiments at different speeds and with different robot morphologies were also able to converge to realistic high-speed locomotion. These results were obtained using a model-free reinforcement learning agent without any motion capture, the strong constraints in the dynamics or kinematics of the robot, nor prescribing limb coordination. Therefore, we theorize that by extending this approach to model-based control and more complex robot morphologies, we will be able to generate realistic physics-based locomotion for a large range of robots and animated characters, and with a highly flexible learning framework. An immediate application is the study of the dynamics of our robots at high speeds, having the possibility to extract the base or center of mass linear and angular momentum trajectories for initialization of receding horizon controllers of centroidal or center of mass dynamics. We invite you to visit our project webpage for further details and a larger suite of comparison videos and results.